three more school districts have received threats on social media following Thursday's violent Snapchat post that shut down Grandview School District for the day. Cap KV's Ellie Nakamoto White sat down with the Benton County prosecutor to find out what could happen to those caught making these online threats. Schools across our area bracing for the worst after alerts of multiple anonymous threats circulating on social media. In Yakima Valley today, Sunnyside School District and Granger School District both posting they're aware of potential future crime. And in Tri-Cities, the message making its way to the Kennewick School District. This comes after recent threats to Grandview students that shut down classes Thursday and to the Pasco District weeks ago. We know some very serious crimes have, have been committed where a lot of people have been killed and there were signs and, um, and, and reason for people to be concerned about that person ahead of time. So we can't ignore those threats. Consequences depend on what's exactly said. A generic threat like I'm mad at the world or is it a specific threat where you identify the person you're threatening that you're, that you're going to hurt or to shoot or a specific day or a specific location? If you're caught, you could be facing a felony or even jail time. I wonder sometimes if it's just an aspect of social media that's bad that has a kid who has no intention of actually hurting somebody, but he has a forum where he can make a threat and get attention. But it's better to be proactive and err on the side of caution. But Miller says it's important to be proactive and err on the side of caution when it comes to students and their safety. In Kennewick, Ellie Nakamoto White, Cap KVU, Local News. Well, police departments in all of the districts are still investigating the threats to see if they are credible. Despite that, school officials say classes should be in session on Monday.